I've created this poster slide from only two images and a few nodes in DaVinci Resolve. The process is split in three main phases. First, we will prepare our assets, then we will put them into a composition and make them look good, and after that, I will show you the secret which helps you to create hundreds of variations in a matter of seconds. So be sure to watch all three phases to not miss any valuable tricks. Now, Let's start by selecting our photos. In my case, I need a foreground and a subject. You can search for free stock photos on Pixabay or use an image AI to generate some. Then use Canva or Photoshop to remove the background on both of them. Now I have my desert and this balloon. For the text, we need a fusion composition. So let's drag one into our timeline and hop into the fusion tab. Here I will hook a background node to a merge node and connect it to the media out. Now let's add a text node. In the inspector I will search for a fitting font. And that's it for the preparation phase. Now let's continue with the assembly. I will drag our two PNGs into the timeline and connect them to the merge node as well. And now I'm going to add a transform node to both of them so we get the ability to scale them and move them around. Before we do this, click on the background node to change the aspect ratio. Deselect the outer resize and drag down the width slider. Now we can use our transforms from a minute ago and use them to scale down the desert and move it around. Let's locate it at the bottom and let's do the same for the balloon. Let's scale it down a little bit and position it. And for our text, I think we can look at it a little bit higher and increase it in size. Okay, now let's open up our node search. For those of you who don't know how to access it, you can just press the keys shift and spacebar together and then search for the drop shadow and I will do the same thing for the soft glow node too. And let's add both of them under the text node. When you are adding the soft glow node, it is usually way too much. So let's reduce the gain quite a bit. And after we have done that, we can move on to our next thing, which is the background node. Let's get a color picker and select an orange tone from our image. Now I will change the drop shadow real quick because the distance is too much. Now I want to add some sand effects to our image. So let's move these two nodes a little bit to the left because we need more space. I will get a single merge node and connect it. And now let's hook a fast noise node up to the merge node. In the inspector, let's increase the detail all the way up to 10, so we have a textured look. Slightly increase the contrast and the scale, and increase the seeth rate, which animates our dust. Now let's head over to the color tab, and change the second color to a desaturated orange tone. I want the sand effect only to be affecting the desert dunes. So let's get a rectangle mask and connect it to the fast noise node. Now let's drag it to the bottom and in the inspector drag the soft edge slider all the way up so our effect fades out to the top. Now we have all elements we need and we can start animating. So select a transform node on our desert dunes and move the playhead to frame 16. Now you can go to the inspector and make a keyframe on the center offset. The second keyframe will be at the first frame. So go there and drag our desert down out of our view. Now with the text node selected, drag the playhead to frame 23. Make a keyframe on the center attribute and move a few frames to the front. In the viewer you can use the green arrows now to move the text. But as you can see in my case, the layering isn't correct. So let's change that. I will disconnect the text and the desert tunes from the multi-merge node. And now I can reconnect it 
with the text first. Now our text comes from behind our desert. Search for the frame where the first bit of our text is visible at the horizon and then go to the inspector and under shading animate the blend to be zero. Then move a few frames forward, change the blend all the way up to one. This makes the text fade in while it's moving up. Okay, it's time for our balloon now. So let's select the transform node and I want the balloon to move longer than every other object in this poster. So let's make a keyframe on our frame far down the timeline on the center attribute and then make the first keyframe on frame 12 and in the viewer drag the balloon down to the second half of the image. In the inspector under settings I will enable motion blur and let's do the same for our desert dunes. Go to inspector and under settings enable motion blur and drag up the slider. Now hold down control and select the second transform node on the text node 2 and then open up the spline window. Now enable all of the graphs and click this button to show all keyframes. And now select them and press S to smooth them out. And now select the top ones, press T and increase the ease in value. You can close the spline again. And when you look at the first quarter of the animation, you can see that the balloon is in front of the dunes. And that doesn't look very good. So let's move it on the first keyframe over the desert. And now we've come to the point where I show you the feature, which helps you to create variations without copying and pasting everything. Click on an element you want to change, for example, the text node. And in the inspector, you can see this icon, which looks like a duplicate icon. And if you click it, you have the ability to change the version and then change the attributes of our text. I will create an outline version of my text with clean intersections and another color. Let's create a second version for our background too. So I will click the version icon choose the second version and I will change the type of the background to a gradient and let's move the anchor points to the corners and change the color. And now our poster already has a completely different character. And if you want to switch things up, you can just mix these versions. For example, let's lose Let's use another version of our text and this background. And with only two backgrounds and three text versions, we have six possible poster variations. And if you want to know how to create a 3D effect, watch this next video.